to understand fully the plight what this country finds itself in today, we have to go back in history to Henry VIII. <laughs> Nothing funny about that. <laughs> For our great days of England, when England was starting to win the world and rule it for its own good. <laughs> now in them days, the world was run by the Pope and his mafia. And it, w- <laughs> it was Henry VIII who was the first to resist them and who formed the Church of England to deal directly with God and cut out the Pope as middleman. <laughs> One of the first things that Henry VIII done was to build a house for Anne Boleyn down near West Ham's football ground. <laughs> right next door almost, your Bolin Castle. <laughs> it's a pub now. <laughs> it's Henry VIII who formed West Ham United. <laughs> it bloody was. So he had somewhere to go for Saturday afternoon, take his mind off things. And that is why your West Ham United play in King Henry VIII's colours. Until this very day, they are, look, claret and blue. Claret, what was his favourite drink? <laughs> and the blue for the raw blood. They never learnt you that in school, did they? No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it was down at West Ham that King Henry met Anne Boleyn. She was a local girl. She'd come from Canning Town. <laughs> True to him, he started to muck about with someone else, so he cut a bleeding head off, didn't he? <laughs> no, he was hurt to say to her one day down at West Ham. He said, I'm warning you, my girl. <laughs> I'll give you a fair warning, Anne Boleyn. <laughs> if I catch you at it with anyone else, I'll give the lad your head to kick off with. <laughs> I'll put it on the centre spot next home game. And he did. And that is where we get the custom of flipping the coin. Edge kick off first. <laughs> <laughs>